So just how fast are American fighter jets? Well, believe it or not, it can be a tougher question to answer than you might think. You see, there are a bunch of variables that can dictate how fast a fighter can fly, including speed restrictions and the weight and drag created by carrying weapons, targeting pods, and extra fuel tanks. You know, all the stuff that a fighter needs to fight. Fighter top speeds are measured without any of that gear, with the aircraft flying naked, as we usually call it, and often without even carrying a full tank of gas. That is to say that the listed top speed of a fighter is something most of its pilots will never actually see, at least with the rare exception of shakedown flights after major repairs or maintenance, when some lucky pilots get to take their jets up butt naked to try to push them hard enough to see if the new repairs will break. But those physical variables aren't the only thing to consider. It's also important to note that, at least for the U.S. military in particular, aircraft top speeds are a lot like submarine maximum depth ratings, in that it's something of an open secret that the Pentagon is straight up lying to undersell real capabilities. The SR-71, for instance, had a publicly disclosed top speed of Mach 3.2, but Blackbird pilots regularly reported flying faster than that, and declassified Lockheed documents suggest it might have been higher than Mach 3.5 or even more. But that would have come at serious risk to the aircraft. Even today, the Air Force lists the F-22 Raptor service ceiling as above 50,000 feet on its official fact sheet, but back when it shot down that Chinese spy balloon a few years back, the Raptor that launched that Sidewinder was flying at well over 60,000 feet. That is to say that you should take any conversation about top speeds or really any performance metrics with a healthy grain of salt, because Generally speaking, they could be a lot higher or a lot lower, depending on the aircraft, its payload, and the circumstances of the flight. So bear all that in mind while we run through the unclassified or publicly disclosed top speeds of every American fighter in active service, ranked from fastest to slowest. And number one is the Eagle, or specifically the F-15E Strike Eagle and the F-15EX Eagle II. Both modern Eagle variants have a publicly disclosed top speed of Mach 2.5, making them the fastest fighters in Uncle Sam's arsenal, though Boeing officials have stated pretty plainly that the F-15EX in particular is probably capable of a fair bit better than that. Number two is the F-22 Raptor. The reigning air superiority champ has an unclassified top speed of Mach 2.25, though like its service ceiling, that may be underselling it a bit. The Raptor's real high-speed claim to fame, however, is its ability to supercruise, or fly at supersonic speeds without even using its afterburner, at speeds potentially as high as Mach 1.8, which is pretty nuts. Number three is the F-16 Fighting Falcon, or the Viper if you're nasty. This fighter has a listed top speed of Mach 2.05, and my good friend Hazard Lee is probably one of the few pilots to ever come close to hitting that in his stripped-down Viper during a shakedown run. According to him, it was a pretty scary experience. Up next is the F-A-18 Super Hornet and its EA-18G Growler sister. These carrier fighters are rated for a publicly disclosed top speed of Mach 1.8, which is honestly pretty respectable for a carrier fighter, which also needs to be good at flying at much lower speeds for tough carrier landings. And the Marines' remaining legacy F-A-18 Hornets are also rated for Mach 1.8 to boot. Then we have the F-35, known to some as the most technologically advanced fighter in the sky and to others as Fat Amy. The F-35 has a publicly disclosed top speed of Mach 1.6, making it the slowest pure fighter in the American arsenal, at least when it comes to top speed runs. And then, just for fun, we have the Marine Corps' remaining AV-8B Harriers, which are really attack jets, but they look the part, so let's include them. These vertical takeoff and landing jets can hit around 673 miles per hour, at least when flying naked, and that's about Mach 0.87. 
And just for fun, let's include the A-10 Thunderbolt 2 or Warthog, which some people call a fighter despite clearly being an attack jet. Now, pilots of the A-10 joke that it's so slow that it runs the risk of bird strikes from behind. And I could buy it with a listed top speed of just 439 miles per hour. That's about Mach 0.57 and is more than 200 miles per hour slower than the B-52 Stratofortress.